some of the terminology that we'll be using for the chapter on electrochemistry will be defined here in this video. Recall electrochemistry requires electron transfer and for in a chemical reaction this is referred to as redox an abbreviation for oxidation reduction and when one metal or atom is oxidized there has to be another metal or atom there to be reduced and electricity is defined as the movement of electrons and electricity is measured or current is measured in amps and an amp is actually an SI unit sometimes a physics book will use the lowercase i for amp so it just depends on what discipline or what textbook uh, we're using but in the chemistry book capital A will be the unit used for current and that's defined as a charge per time and the charge unit is a coulomb and our time unit is going to be seconds so a coulomb per second is the same thing as the unit A for amps and we'll see that later on in the chapter when we do calculations for plating a metal with another metal it will be helpful to know that the symbol A amp stands for coulomb per second an electron has a charge of 1.6 times 10 to the 19th coulombs so if we were in a physics class we would probably use that quite often and we'll only see this if we multiply this by one mole then we'll have Faraday's constant which is discussed in another video in order for an electron to move there has to be some driving force behind that or a separation of charge and that's what is referred to as voltage so we're familiar with current probably and volts so if you have a 120 amp uh, dryer so the current that your house is wired for is generally 120 or 220 I think voltage we may fam be familiar with this for example a 12 volt battery in your car or the small rectangular shaped 9 volt batteries so voltage is a potential difference in charge and since electrons are repelled from something negative and drawn towards something positive that's really what this voltage represents and it's sometimes called a push it's technically not a force a force we might remember is a newton times a meter so the word force is used incorrectly in the definition of voltage we'll see that in just a few minutes so a volt is defined as the energy imparted to one coulomb our chemistry book is going to refer to voltage as the potential or cell potential it might also say potential difference or EMF is often written and EMF means an electromotive force here is the case where this force is not equal to the force that we think about if we're using physics a newton times a meter so technically we should refer to this as the electromotive push perhaps but nonetheless if we see EMF that will be measured in the unit volts another term we'll be seeing is electrode so if you have to jump start your battery in your car you'll hook the battery cables up to the positive side or to the negative side so the electrode that we'll be discussing 
in the electrochemical cell will be a metal that is placed in solution along with some of the dissolved metal of the same type. The anode is one of the electrodes, the cathode is the other. So the anode is defined as the electrode where oxidation occurs. So oxidation is always uh, an increase in charge because of loss of electrons. And oxidation is really um, corrosion. So if a metal is oxidized, then it is not going to have the property of the metal before it was oxidized. So an iron will conduct electricity, but when iron is oxidized, then we have rust. So anode is where oxidation occurs. So those are both vowels, so that helps us remember that. The anode is really not negative, but it's just the electrode where um, that we, we might write a minus sign on it. And that'll help us remember which direction that the electrons flow. Since electrons are negative, they'll flow away from the cathode toward, or away from the anode, I'm sorry, toward the cathode. So that will be something that we'll be looking at later. The cathode is the electrode where reduction occurs. And again, just from the alphabet, you can say, well, reduction is a consonant. Cathode is also a consonant. And so the cathode will be the metal that is more easily reduced. We'll also be discussing half reactions. And so the appendix that we'll be using that has a list of half reactions. These are either oxidations or reductions measured against the standard hydrogen electrode. So you may see the acronym SHE for that. And the standard hydrogen electrode is defined to have a voltage of zero. So whenever we are using the appendices, which we've looked at in a previous video, we'll see that the half reactions are the only thing that are written on the table, and they have values of positive or negative. A positive value, remember, means favorable, and silver, it's favorable for silver to be reduced. But this value, 0.799 volts, is measured against the standard hydrogen electrode. And it just happens by alphabet that this is at the bottom of the table. So an H+, plus, which represents an acid, is reduced to hydrogen gas. That half reaction is defined as zero. When we measure the potential, or the voltage, or the cell potential, or the EMF, or the book might ask us to calculate E cell, then we're going to use the two half reactions that we are interested in. And if we think about Hess's law, any thermodynamic property, if we compared copper to zinc, copper has a positive potential when it's reduced. So copper plus two likes to be reduced to solid copper and measured against the standard hydrogen electrode. That would give us a potential difference of 0.337 volts. Zinc is higher on the activity series than copper. So if zinc and copper were the metals that we use to build an electrochemical cell, zinc prefers to be oxidized. So written as a reduction going from plus two down to charge of zero, this half reaction has a negative potential, meaning not favorable in this direction. 
positive and negative, uh, we, may ha we, we may build two cells and each half reaction may be positive or each half reaction may be negative. But the more positive the value is, the more spontaneous that particular reaction is or the more favorable.